Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. We'll never get old to say that. Um, my name is Sinead. I am from the Young Adults team and I am here today to talk to you about choices. Well, today's verse comes from Revelations 3 verse 20. Um, a bit of context behind the verse, John is on the Isle of Patmos and Jesus is giving him a vision, giving him specific instructions for some of the churches in New Testament times. And one of the churches he talks to is a Laodicean church and he says that these, this church is lukewarm. They tried to have the fire of God, but also the coolness of the world and they had neither. And Jesus was displeased. He was like, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. And he said that their indecisiveness stopped them from recognizing how sufficient he was. That they might have had both. And it says that they had need of nothing. But to Jesus, they were unaware of their true states. They were wretched, miserable, poor, blind and naked to him. And the only way to true sight was through him. Verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and he and dine with him and he with me. Take a turn with me for a second and think about the amount of choices you have to make in a day. Way too many to count, right? Got to a point where you're like, nah, I don't want to have to make any more choices. I'm done. I'm done. Um, and this is from little choices like, um, yeah, what am I going to wear to who will I spend the rest of my life with? And I think that we're given so many options in this modern day, millions to choose from, like what phone you have, what shoes you're going to wear, the shampoo, the ingredients you're going to choose. Like there's just so much the little details and nuances that we have to pay attention to and the decisions we make. And it feels like so much. Don't even get me started on amounts of things trying to tell you what the best option is. There's so many sources of information and it just feels never ending to the point that we get passive. We choose to do nothing. We, choose, we take what's given to us, the people who are most familiar, the routines that match our energy, the things that feel the most comfortable and most stable. Some of these things, though, albeit mentally draining, some of these decisions we have to make have the power to build or break us, to drive us closer or away from the people that God has called us to be. If we look at the Bible, we have an understanding of the power that choices have. In Joshua 24, verse 15, he reminds the Israelites that they have the choice to trust God or to trust their idols after he leaves and he leads them into the promised land. And um, Mordecai um, says to Esther in Esther 4, verse 14, she has a choice to partner with God to save the Jews or to allow fear to hold her back and allow somebody else to partner with God. King Solomon reminds us of the choice that we have in our words um, in Proverbs 18 verse 21 saying words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruits you choose. We have our choices every single day and it might be overwhelming to know what to do or how to do it or have the strength to do it. But I say to you today that the most important and easiest choice you can make in 2024 is to fix your eyes on the one who chose us first. That um, we will fall short of God's glory time and time again. But thank the Lord that we have him and he can bring us back and he can guide us to making better choices every single day. That is, he's standing at the door and knocking. We can choose to let him in and let him really just take over and 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 remind us of the path to go on as long as we make the important choice of him before anything else we can we can really access that person that god has called us to be and the the weight and the tiredness that it comes with always feeling like we have to make choices goes away when we allow him and focus on being 100 percent disciple as pastor paul preached to us in um 2023 um but yeah we have nothing apart from him and a lot of times the things in our lives deceive us into a false sense of safety but no abundance of friends money time words knowledge will ever match up to god's sufficiency and i just really want to encourage you today that um yeah we often think that the only choice we need to make is salvation um, but the choice doesn't end at salvation, but it begins at salvation. 
today God is knocking at the door of your heart and if only you make the choice today sorry the only choice you make today is to choose him, to let him in you've done everything you need to do to be all he's called you to be you just have to make that decision and he does the rest i promise you that for today and i just want to pray that god helps you and empowers you as you make the decision to choose him in every single little nuance that he honors that decision he says that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him that's hebrews 11 verse 6. see you guys have a beautiful and blessed day